Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome to my channel. In this video, uh, I'm going to test and see if we can clean PCBs using the ultrasonic cleaner. We know that we can clean rusty tools and all sort of objects, but the question is, uh, we can clean PCBs using an ultrasonic cleaner. Before we dive into today's video, I want to take a moment to express my gratitude to my friends at Geek Buying. They were kind enough to send me this ultrasonic cleaner that we'll be checking out in just a moment. Now, the exciting part for you, my awesome audience, I've got a special treat. In the video description below, you'll find a coupon code. So, um, if you're interested in grabbing one of these ultrasonic cleaners for yourself, don't forget to use that code at checkout for some great savings. And here's something that really helps support the channel. If you decide to make a purchase using my affiliate link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it makes a huge difference for my channel. All right, let's jump into the video and see if this ultrasonic cleaner is good for cleaning PCBs. Thanks again to Geek Buying, and let's get started. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. While the ultrasonic cleaner is undeniably a fantastic tool with its array of applications, let's address something I've noticed. I want to be clear, this isn't a knock on the ultrasonic cleaner as a whole. It certainly has its place in the workshop, but uh, when it comes to cleaning PCBs, it might not be the silver bullet we hope for. Here's the deal. Ultrasonic cleaners are stellar at many things, from jewelry to intricate tools. But uh, in my experience, when it comes to PCBs, the results can be a bit hit or miss. The issue often lies in the complexity of electronic components and the various types of flux used in soldering. While it can do a commendable job on simple boards or less densely populated ones, the intricate nature of modern electronics sometimes demands a more targeted approach to cleaning. Certain flux residues, especially those from specific soldering processes, might not be as effectively removed by the ultrasonic cleaner alone. Now this isn't to say it won't work for your specific application or that it's not worth a try. Many factors come into play, including the type of flux, the complexity of the PCB, and the cleaning solution used. So keep in mind that while the ultrasonic cleaner is a valuable tool, it might not be the ultimate solution for every PCB cleaning task. You know, ultrasonic cleaners are incredibly versatile tools. We've talked about cleaning various items with them, but here's a question that often comes up in the realm of electronics. Can an ultrasonic cleaner handle the cleanup of flux residue on a PCB? Imagine you're soldering components onto a fresh PCB or making some changes to an already populated one. Flux is that sticky substance that helps the solder flow and ensures a strong bond. It's fantastic for the soldering process, but it can leave a residue that, frankly, isn't always the easiest to deal with. So the big question is, can we use an ultrasonic cleaner for this? Well, the answer is yes and no. Ultrasonic cleaners are fantastic for getting into those nooks and crannies, efficiently removing dirt and other contaminants from the surface of your PCB, but uh, cleaning flux, I would say, uh, it's much faster and easier to clean it with isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush. But uh, let's continue with the video. The microscopic bubbles produced by the ultrasonic waves do an excellent job of reaching into tight spaces, ensuring a thorough cleaning, but uh, it seems that is not doing a great job cleaning the flux from the PCB. Just uh, keep in mind that not all flux types are the same, so it's a good idea to check the manufacturer's recommendations. Now many of you may ask, including me, what's under the hood of this ultrasonic cleaner and how it works? I have a few questions about the mechanics of these devices, so let's demystify it a bit. Inside an ultrasonic cleaner, you'll typically find three main components, the transducer, the generator, and the tank. Transducer. This is the powerhouse of the operation. The transducer converts electrical energy from the generator into ultrasonic vibrations. Picture it like a speaker, but instead of producing audible sound, it generates high-frequency waves. Generator. The generator supplies the electrical energy that drives the transducer. It's the control center determining the frequency and intensity of the ultrasonic vibrations. Different cleaning tasks might require different settings, and the generator provides that versatility. Tank. This is where the magic happens. The tank holds the cleaning solution or water. When the transducer vibrates, it creates countless tiny bubbles in the liquid. These bubbles collapse and implode in a process called cavitation. This implosion produces high-energy shock waves that effectively dislodge dirt, grime, or contaminants from surfaces. So, in a nutshell, it's the combination of ultrasonic vibrations and cavitation that makes the ultrasonic cleaner such a powerful cleaning tool. The tiny high-energy bubbles reach into the tiniest crevices, providing a thorough and efficient cleaning process. Now, armed with this knowledge, and uh, if you find this breakdown helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more content. As we wrap up our exploration of the ultrasonic cleaner, let me share my final thoughts on its performance. And most importantly, 
whether it's worth considering for your workshop. We've witnessed the ultrasonic cleaner in action, tackling flux residue on a PCB. While it does a commendable job, as always, the effectiveness depends on various factors, such as the type of flux, the complexity of the PCB, and your specific cleaning needs. What makes the ultrasonic cleaner stand out is its ability to harness ultrasonic vibrations and cavitation, providing a thorough and efficient cleaning process. It's a versatile tool with applications ranging from jewelry to intricate tools, and it certainly has its place in the workshop. However, when it comes to cleaning PCBs, it may not be a one-size-fits-all solution. The intricacies of modern electronics sometimes demand a more targeted approach to cleaning, especially with certain flux residues. So, is it worth buying? If you find yourself regularly dealing with less complex boards or a variety of other items in your workshop, the ultrasonic cleaner could be a valuable addition. The convenience and efficiency it brings to many cleaning tasks can't be denied. On the other hand, if you're primarily focused on intricate PCB work with specific flux types, you might want to weigh the pros and cons. In some cases, alternative methods or a combination of techniques might be more suitable. As with any tool, it ultimately comes down to your specific needs and the tasks you frequently encounter in your workshop. I hope this hands-on demonstration and discussion have provided valuable insights to help you make an informed decision. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, consider subscribing for more content like this. I appreciate you joining me on this exploration of the ultrasonic cleaner. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy tinkering.